Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week, I'm super excited to bring some brand new latest and greatest functionality in Dynamics 365 and Power Apps, and it's all thanks to Rob Dawson. So I'm going to feature Rob because he is a business application architect, power platform, Dynamics 365 sales and customer service expert in the UK. And after the uh, episode 101 from the CRM MVP podcast, where I talk about, you know, some of the uh, the things that I either love or hate within Dynamics, one of the features that I tackled was duplicate detection. And the fact that I love duplicate detection, but I kind of went into um, a tangent, if you can believe that, uh, about how I would improve duplicate detection. And, you know, one of the things that I mentioned was, I think that duplicate detection should be more proactive rather than reactive. You don't want to enter a bunch of information for 10 minutes and then realize that, well, I entered a duplicate and now I'm kind of stuck. Um, so the idea is, I wish it was proactive. Well, Rob reached out to me and he sent me a message says, hey, guys, thank you for the content. As always, uh, regarding episode number 101 and particularly your point about duplicate detection at the point of entry and not waiting until you save it. How about we use the autocomplete control configure on the account name field? That way, when they enter the partial name, it will match to the active accounts view, for example. Doesn't need a wildcard or anything like that to search for uh, a partial match even. So it might be even better than duplicate detection. So this functionality is not really duplicate detection. It's not going to you know, give you the prompts or anything like that, but it is really, really a proactive way to search for duplicates before you actually spend all of the time entering the information. So I wanna show you how that works. And again, thank you so much, Rob, for the suggestion for this week's Two Minute Tuesday. So I'm gonna go back into Dynamics and go into an account. This is just a trial environment. Noting that, notice that this account is Elevate Solutions. So if I try to create a brand new account, and I start entering any type of information, I'm just entering text. And that's what I was talking about, the idea that you have to enter all this information. Um, and you know, once you save it is when you're gonna check for duplicates. But let me show you Rob's way, because I do think this is pretty awesome. So let's start the countdown and let's go. And by the way, I think I'm gonna go way beyond two minutes on this one because there's a lot of steps. So anyway, I'm gonna go into the account entity within the Power Apps Maker. So I just went to data, tables, account, and then I'm gonna go to the form. And I know it's taking some time to load. Go to the account form. And again, because we're going to be matching based on the account name, that's what I'm looking for. Now, here's a funny thing. I always think that it's a lot more complicated, if not impossible, to deal with controls uh, as part of the new form editor. So right off the back, I'm just gonna switch to classic because it's a lot easier to work with controls in the classic experience of the form editor. So. I just clicked on switch to classic and I'm just waiting for the um, form editor to load up and there it is account name. So that is the field that I want to do the matching on. So I'm going to double click on that field. I'm going to navigate to controls and click on add control. Now notice there is a control here called autocomplete and he's telling me that it's going to be matching uh, autocomplete capabilities based on a view or an option set. It can do them both. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on add. Obviously I need to make sure that it's visible on all the clients or at least the web client, but I would, I'm just gonna click them all. But then here is the magic trick. You have to pick whether you're going to be comparing it to a view or an option set. So I am going to leave it as a view. The field is name obviously because I double clicked in it. So it already pulled that information. So for the view, we are going to select the account entity and the active accounts view. If you only wanted to check for duplicates that, I don't know, follow a specific condition like accounts we created this year or even across entities. So imagine I was checking a lead against uh, the active contacts view, for example. You can do that. You can, cr you can check across entities, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to click OK. And then for the field, obviously the field that I'm looking for is the account name. So I'm going to look for account name. Where are you? Name. There it is. OK. So name, single line of text. Perfect. Click OK. Click OK. Let's go and publish this thing. OK. 
Okay, click on publish. And perfect, so now let's go and check out how this works. So back to our account, let's hit refresh to enter a new account in the system. And now when we search for Elevate Solutions, for example, notice that it's searching for any matches, it's finding Elevate Solutions, finding Electronics, it's finding AdventureWorks Electronics, so uh, it's pretty awesome. And you can see that it works as soon as I click. Let's see if you can hear the keyboard. So if somebody's starting to enter the name of an account in this case, it will really quickly show them what's available, what's created already in the system, so they don't need to continue to create it. They might just go and be like, well, if there's already AdventureWorks Engineering, which is what I was planning on creating, maybe I should go back to accounts and search for that specific record rather than creating it from scratch. So I hope you enjoyed the tip this week. Thank you so much again, Rob, for the suggestion, and we'll see you next week.